Oh, snap. Too bad. Well, better note next time. I think we get we need to hire Duke Nukem to get on this boat with his uh his AK-47. Oh shit! Somebody called Some John St. John. <laughs> 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 You've seen better days since uh, Sonic Adventure, right? But uh. Oh my God! It, it, doesn't that blow your mind to this date? Duke, it, Duke, Duke Nukem. Nukem was Big the Cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Balls of steel, Froggy. Oh, Froggy, I gotta rip off your head and shit down your neck. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he ran away. <laughs> But, uh, I've actually, got balls of steel, Froggy! I've never played any Duke Nukem games, have you? Nope, me neither. I know, we love to meme on him, but, uh... uh that really is... We, we all know why we love to meme on him. It's hilarious, and, you know, he's so over-the-top extra, but... You know, we, we're much bigger fans of Doom, and... I haven't, I've never played Wolfenstein, but Doom, Doom's good. I actually, uh... I never grew up playing Doom. You oh, did. Yeah, I mean. um, so, even before the N64 version, yeah, we were... We were, uh, very young in the early 90s, so I don't think we were old enough to play the DOS version. What, of Nukem? No, no, of Doom. Uh, so, uh, one of my neighbors actually had the DOS version of Doom on their computer. Well, not on their, on their parents' computer. But they wouldn't let us play it because it was, like, an M-rated game because of guns and violence, and they didn't oh, want shit, to... it's the Marlin! Catch him. Oh. Yeah, so we weren't able to play Doom, but I think one time we snuck and played it, and it was pretty cool. But yeah, yeah, Doom 64, and Doom that was 64 is neat. fantastic. At least when I was like eight or eight years old and had it, and it was really cool to. And it was scary too when you're just a kid and you play it in a dark room. But for me, it was hilarious. Like when we played Doom <laughs> yeah, 64, we got the chainsaw. <laughs> Actual game sounds. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't approve of your voice acting for that game. No one approves of my voice acting ever, even though I can clearly do it. Oh, speaking of voice acting, I, yes. I guess this is. I don't know. I'm going to get some drinks. Well, by the time this episode airs, I mean it'll have long passed. But oh shit! Oh shit! Commentary. Oh shoot! Is his face when he says that? It's like somebody kicked him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just thought of the greatest thing ever. What? Duke Nukem in Soul Calibur. He just has a gun. I know. <laughs> he wouldn't even need to use a sword. He just pull out his gun and pistol whip people. That's kind of... <laughs> or maybe it would be better in uh, Mortal Kombat. Is that when you get the fatality, you could actually rip their head off and shit down their neck. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Yeah, I think he'd be fit better in yeah. Mortal Kombat than he would in Soul Calibur. Yeah, because that way you wouldn't need a weapon too. Alright, I think I might actually get this one. Yeah, it's looking good. Let me get it. Just yeah, I would say it. anything in 10 seconds. Let me guess your fish. <laughs> yeah, let me guess your fish. Isn't that getting, obvious? The hook's getting a little loose, though. I'm going to stop on standing back. I don't know, how do you set the hook back in his mouth? It's not going to matter after 8 more minutes, so... Or 6 more minutes at this point. Just pull him in. There's no line tension. Yeah, there you go. This is definitely going to be another keeper. Yeah, until it gets to like 10 feet and then Duke Nukem pops in. Looks like he was resting! <laughs> <laughs> the fish crew was like tur turbo jet engines on his back. It was a mecha fish made by Dr. Robotnik. Oh, yeah, I called it. I called it. He's 41 feet out. Pull him. Pull him. Don't let him go! Your vitality's getting low. 33. Reverse the boat. You have to pull in faster, though. All right, no, stop reversing the boat. Oh, I was so close. Damn it! The sun is very angry at you right now. It's like, boy, it's like, you miserable failure. You think that you could pull in a fish? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'll show you how to fish. And then he descends down to the ocean surface and evaporates all the ocean. <laughs> oh, water! <laughs> and then all the fish become charbroiled. <laughs> and then you're just like a husk of a skeleton sitting there, <laughs> like. Your eyes melting out of your sockets, and the last word you said is, Wow, that guy can really fish! <laughs> that would have been the best way to play this game, to be the sun character. Oh, wow, you're really pulling him in. Wish, 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 wish. You know, wish, 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 wish. So, is, is the hook releasing from the fish's mouth a common problem in fishing? Uh, not. Because it, it, it always seems like it's a problem in games. Well, you have to set the hook, so what you need to do when the moment the fish takes a bite is you need to whip back on the line. Okay. Two, one... Yes! Right. Yes! And I only have my knowledge... Oh, nice job, by the way. Let's see what it is. <laughs> this is the same one. I caught your twin brother. 
You could sit next next to each other while you suffocate without water in, in the deck of my boat. <laughs> <laughs> we are pissing off all the vegans right now. Like me? I haven't eaten a fish in three years. Anyway, uh... That's not true. So yeah, setting the hook. You have to set the hook. I know that from Ocarina of Time. If... Oh, you just set the hook in his mouth. That was good. Snap. Too bad the line has been cut. If set... If the hook coming out of the fish's mouth was a big issue, you could design a mechanized hook that's spring-loaded, that has like seven barbs that just shoot out in all directions. Yeah, but that's not traditional fishing. <laughs> Actually, yeah, if you're going that far, you might as well just get like a sniper harpoon or something. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Join Chris and Evie fishing in 2018. <laughs> We're bringing high tech to the high seas. <laughs> <laughs> I've got lines of steel. <laughs> is, it, is it illegal to like bring like weaponized fishing equipment out to the ocean? Fuck if I know, but it seems like a good idea. If I had more money, guys, we gotta start a Patreon where you can donate for our uh, high-tech fishing video, where we'll actually throw ourselves out in the ocean <laughs> with this stuff. Maybe we should do a Patreon in general for this show. We'd have like one donor, and they'd be giving us like ten cents a week. Yeah, well, DTube kind of Steam it and DTube kind of works that way. If you guys would support us, we'd greatly appreciate it, because then we could afford a better capture car. So right now we're using a forty-dollar uh, diamond. Was it diamond? V one five hundred or something. You don't have to, guys. It's, it's fine. Oh, hey, shit. So speaking of uh, whales and fishing, all you whales over on DTube and Steven, if you're watching this, give us an upvote. We'll greatly appreciate it. Whales are the people that have all the money on that website. Oh, really? So when they upvote your video, it's worth like seventy bucks plus. Instantly. Oh, really? Yeah. But Speaking it's also a dangerous prospect because if they don't like you, they can send you into oblivion. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so. Is this, there's kind of a whole analogy to Steam It and D2 of fish. So, right now, they would call our channel a minnow channel because we're little. Nobody really notices us. Mm -hmm. But if you're a whale and you post something, it's like a big ass wave coming, you know, and everybody sees it. So, yeah, you gotta be careful with, when you poke the whale because it could turn out good or bad. <laughs> poke the whale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Reel him in! Watch you reel in a whale and he just crushes our boat. And that's foreshadowing for our channel. <laughs> 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 so and all the people on YouTube are like, what are they talking about? Hey people on YouTube, why are you not on Steam it? It's 2018. Get in your cryptocurrencies. It's a great time to invest. Chris and Anthony are not stockbrokers and are not responsible for your investing habits. <laughs> Disclaimer. Oh, 85 feet. Yeah, I'm actually doing pretty good here. That's about the length of my Johnson! Reel in that line! <laughs> I think this is gonna be a different fish. Maybe. I would really like. To... Oh God damn it! I would really like to hook the um the marlin once before we end this episode. We're not gonna hook the marlin. Oh. I, from what I understand, there's like a progression system. What based on what I was reading. Yeah. All right. Seven. Seven more feet. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. You got him. It's another uh, hundred pounder, isn't it? It's another. Oh, you know that's pretty impressive. If you had one of those in Ocarina of Time, the guy would shoot. It's a two hundred pounder. <laughs> is that normal for fish? See, look, your body strength level is C now. Oh, which means so there's RPG elements to this. I guess so. You know, this is actually a pretty cool game, now that we know how to play it. <laughs> so I have 400 pounds worth of fish now. Yeah. I feel like this would be a really cool Game Boy Color game. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it has all the buttons. Yeah. Really? It's fully exhausted already? I was thinking, like, you remember, um, was it WarioWare? On the Game Boy Advance had, like, all those motion controls or something? You know, I don't know. I never really played any Wario games. It would have been cool if like they had like a uh, Game Boy Color cartridge that also had like a fishing reel attached to it. So you, can <laughs> you see how fast I'm fi re reeling these fuckers in now? Holy yeah, shit. Duke, Duke Nukem injected you with some of his roids. <laughs> Ooh, oh, a barracuda. Ooh, a spotted Yeah, but imagine like if you would have brought that 200 pound fish, fish to the guy in Ocarina of Time. Oh my oh. god, get that thing. This is it. We got the whale. We're gonna poke the whale. We're gonna poke the whale on Steam It. Here we go. Up, oh, get his attention. Be careful. careful. The boat. No! That was no! No! He's coming right for Duke! Galore! Yes. Yes. Yes, more. We need six o'clock. Head to south. Oh, this thing has like 20 fins. It's, a, a, it's the Megalodon. Yes, yes. What the hell? Alright, keep trying. He's going for the right of the screen. We still got a chance. No! Oh yes! Maybe this is the boss. 
He's not interested. Maybe we don't have any tantalizing paint. Duke! Get onto the line! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rip off its head and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and like, the, the thing comes up and bites his head off and takes a dump down his neck. How <laughs> ironic! <laughs> Oh, it's gone. Well, just like our channel on Steven and DTube, we did not get noticed by the whale. But hey, you guys like us, and that's enough for us for now. So, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like, comment, and subscribe, then you'll be ones that like, comment, and subscribe. So come back next time when, when we, uh... Play a different game.